and new details also coming down from the Texas Education Agency or TEA on the governor's announcement in short masks are still required in Texas schools. However, school boards can vote to opt out. But before the TEA issued this guidance today, many South Texas school districts had already voiced that they would keep their masking rules in place for the time being. This list has grown significantly since we first showed it to you on Tuesday. You can visit our website for this full list. And here's a look at local colleges. Texas A&M Corpus Christi and Del Mar College say their COVID protocols will not be changing, so masks will still be required while on campus. Same goes for Coastal Bend College. Well, the Texas Education Agency, as you just heard, did update its public health guidance on masks in schools, saying the current practices can continue. But they also stress school boards do have full authority to determine local mask wearing policy. Most of the districts in this area have said they have no plans to change the current safety protocols, and that includes requiring students to wear masks for in-person learning. Dr. Nancy Vera, president of the Corpus Christi American Federation of Teachers, tells us the risk of lifting the mandate is too great for those in the classroom. Well, I'm livid. This Dr. Death governor is putting our children's lives and our teachers' lives in danger when he arbitrarily lifts the mask mandate. I think that it's a mistake. And she says it's likely the governor's order will wind up increasing the spread of COVID-19 and that he alone should be held accountable for that. In lifting the mask mandate, any deaths after the time that he's designated as the day to relieve us of that mask mandate, uh, any death after that is going to be in his, in his hands because I am just sick and tired of us playing games with a pandemic. Also today, the Texas Education Association updated the requirements for surface cleaning in school buildings. And this afternoon, it was also announced that teachers, school staff, and child care providers can get the COVID-19 vaccine. The Texas Department of State Health Services say they've notified vaccine providers that they should immediately include school and child care workers. The directive was sent down from the federal government that teachers, bus drivers, and staff who work for licensed child care providers would be included in vaccine administration. And those teachers can now get the vaccine at participating CVS health locations. CVS has dozens of pharmacies in the state that are giving out the vaccine, but currently only a few locations have appointment openings due to high demand. Robstown and Mathis are the only area CVS locations currently on the list, and we're told that they are fully booked, but new appointments are added as more vaccine becomes available. To sign up, you can go through the website or through the CVS app.